Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's weigh-in day. And Claire's still asleep, so that's why I'm not as loud as I normally am. So hopefully y'all can hear me pretty well. Uh, last Saturday, I weighed in at 186.4. And today, I weighed in at 184.2. So that's a 2.2 loss. Um, I might have actually seen 183. Had it not been for me feasting on, hold on a second. Last night I had two servings of these. They're 130 calories each and have 15 sugars. So, two servings. Well, that was last night. Technically I had three servings um, because I had had earlier in the day I had had one so I am not gonna buy these for a while when when I um, see that I cannot stop eating something I am telling myself not to buy it again until I get to my goal weight like my dates I really love them dates but I know that I cannot resist them and I know I'm not gonna be able to resist if I have these in the house so I am not gonna buy these again until I get to my goal weight um, there's only four servings in here to begin with so I'd had one serving, I believe, yesterday, and then, um, I mean, Thursday, and then Friday I had had one, and then when I came home Friday night, I didn't, I never had donuts or anything like that, but um, I had ended up having two servings of this, and I had also ended up, I had like, I want to say 1,500 calories last night. Um, I had like a, a trail mix. It was like a 220 calorie 12 trail mix and I've been staying around 800 calories all week but um, yesterday I guess was just kind of the beginning of me wanting to eat and um, yeah so I had like 1500 calories so still having a little bit of a loss this morning is is good with me and it's it's not that I, I mean these are not the healthiest things, but this is still a healthier alternative over the donut. Um, it's not like I was binging on very unhealthy things. I mean, you can you can overdo it on healthy things too. Um, I didn't really stick to a liquid diet all week long. I had um, fruit with with it, like I, I would or, and nuts. It's basically what I did. And one day I did have. A cup of chili beans my mom had made like it's I don't know it was from Aldi and it was in this big pouch looking thing and it was dry and it was some sort of like chili bean soup or something and um, I bought it I bought a bunch of meals for um, for Brian to have throughout the week and I told mom I'm like well here's about three meals and because uh, she lives right next door and I wasn't planning on eating it but um, it looked good and I was wanting something salty so I had literally measured me out a cup and I had no idea how many calories it was. I was like probably around 250 so I don't know because it was mainly beans and then just spices and stuff. So anyway um this weekend's plan I don't think y'all can see it but I have a bowl of fruit over there so I will be like a fruititarian this weekend and I will eat all this fruit up and um we have to go, at some point we'll have to go to Aldi and we want to go to Whole Foods. I am trying not to do the meatless products because it's not processed and stuff that much. And Brian eventually will get away from them. But this is new to him, going from the standard American diet to being a vegetarian and then being a vegan. So it's kind of like a slow process for him. But I told him, I said, we need to go to Whole Foods and I'm sure they've got some better quality meatless products and um check them out i know there's one that i want to try as far as burger it's called beyond the meat i had seen it on somebody's um i've been watching vegan van life videos and uh somebody on there i can't remember what their names were i'm sorry but um they had talked about beyond the uh meat and burgers and it did it looked just like a like meat it, it didn't look like the regular um meat burgers oh I had asked Brian um somebody had asked me about the ice cream he had tried the chocolate ice cream he said it was just okay but he would rather just go without ice cream period um and he said that the uh vegetarian burger from Aldi was delicious he did like that said no on the ice cream he didn't try the vanilla yet 
he said try the vanilla with some chocolate syrup and um see if he liked it better so uh you know you win some you lose some that's that's the thing about and it depends on what it was flavored with if it he's not a coconut fan so if it was like done with coconut milk he really wouldn't have liked the coconut flavor i'm not sure it just says dairy free i haven't really looked at it to see what it was um i'm trying to think what else i'm not really sure what this week's plan is i don't know if i want to try to go back on a liquid diet and go full throttle with it or what I want to do or just continue to, I mean I still lost I still lost 2.2 so I might just continue doing what I'm doing and um as long as I'm seeing a loss if I can lose two pounds a week I am completely happy with that I've got plenty of time um I have got like 20 pounds to my goal weight and my goal is December 31st and I actually looked on the calendar and I've only lost a pound a week for the next until then because I think it's 20 weeks um I would still make my goal so and and if I maybe have like a two or three pound loss one week and then don't lose anything one week and then have like that cycle I should still be able to make my goal so right now I'm not like in panic mode or, or anything now when it gets probably towards the end of November if I've like really slacked off then I might get back really really strict with doing the liquid um diet and everything i think right now i'm kind of um liking liquids for most of my meals and then my snacks i'm kind of doing fruits and nuts and it just kind of keeps me from feeling like i'm starving but um i will tell you let's see what days was it i want to say wednesday and thursday what i did was i took two smoothies to work with me and um i'm talking about I'm talking about my 24 ounce uh, turbis cups. Filled them to the brim. And um, then I think I took a cup and a half of um, the red seedless grapes and two bottles of water. And I could not finish my water because drinking the two smoothies and then eating the grapes. Oh, and then I'd have a little pack, pack of my 100 calorie almonds. That literally filled me up. And um, somebody who was oh, the driver who goes to like Chick fil A and stuff. Um, I was in the restroom and another lady that works there was telling him that he could get me some fruits so I wouldn't feel left out not getting a milkshake. And, um, when I came out of the restroom, I overheard him talking. I'm like, seriously, I said, I really appreciate it, but I am so full. I, I just, I'm like, I cannot eat another thing. I was, I was just so full from that smooth, those two smoothies and the cup and a half of grapes and the almonds. I was like done for the night. And, um. I think I got three-fourths through one bottle of water and I could not even drink hardly any more water the rest of the night. So it's it's not that I'm starving myself by any means. You can feel full on uh, fruits and veggies and nuts. You, you can totally get full on them. Um, my parents have decided probably once a week that they're going to try to do a liquid diet. So they've re I've really got them into the smoothies. My mom's blender came in yesterday. So, um, hopefully today she'll get to try it out and see if she likes it better than just the regular blender she has. Um, I don't really think there's anything else to talk about. I, I might, if, if we do get a chance to go to Whole Foods, hopefully we do tomorrow. Um, I might try to make a video on, on what we end up getting from Whole Foods. Uh, I know it sounds funny, but I think here lately, I think what it's going to be is, is my mom will be watching Anna Claire and on Brian's days off on Sundays for now. Um, we'll probably have date day at the grocery store looking around and actually, but I mean, that's kind of fun when you're, you know, you're becoming vegetarian and then turning into vegan and you're going and you're like, oh, this looks good. It, it is kind of, you know, a little bit of a date. Um, Brian actually will be going to 12 hours soon. He's hoping on October 1st. So when he does, he'll have like, one week where he only works three days and then one week where he only works four days so i'm going to go from seeing him one day a week to uh three or four days a week so that's awesome we're looking forward to being able to um you know have a lot more date days um before i go to work but um that is it for this video i hope y'all have a great weekend and um if you're a football fan i hope your team wins and I will see y'all next video. Love y'all. Bye.